Hey guys, welcome to this video and finally I've got my hands on Fitbit Versa. I've been waiting for it for some time now, ordered it online and finally got it a couple of days back and now I'm here to unbox it in front of you guys. So uh, this is actually the second smartwatch from Fitbit. The first one I believe was Ionic. So this is Fitbit Versa. This is the smaller lighter model and it is also cheaper at around $200 and this is also my second smartwatch the first one was gear s3 frontier and i love that a bit and now i've got fitbit versa here so let's go ahead and take a look at the box first so first of all we have a small and large wristbands in here and it also runs on iphone android windows mac and pc so there is that and then we've got some more features at the back of the box here so we've got health features, so it counts your steps, distance, calories, floors, continuous heart rate, sleep tracking stages and insights. And then we've got some smart features here, so it store and plays 300 plus songs, call, text, calendar and app alerts, apps for weather, sports and more. And then we've got fitness features here, personalized on-screen coaching, 15 plus exercise modes, uh, which include run, swim, yoga and then we also have connected gps here so it means that the watch itself doesn't have gps it uses uh, gps of your phone for connected services it also does your cardio fitness level and water resistant up to 50 meters so that's really really good so you can also take it swimming i believe and then we've got day to night design four plus day battery life multiple clock faces lightweight and comfortable interchangeable bands so premium design personalized guidance all day companion all the features that you look for in a smartwatch phone free music pure pulse heart rate on-screen coaching apps and notifications water resistant up to 50 meters so that's the swimming icon you can do that i believe so let's go ahead and unbox this uh, watch i've been really excited and waiting for that so just do that and slide the box out then all we have to do is lift it up like this and there it is that's the smartwatch and now we lift that up like this so it comes out and wow it's really small it's really really small let's, let's pull this tab out okay and it's also on i believe so that's the smartwatch and it's really small and it's really light wow i am actually surprised okay so let's put it aside for a while and take a look at what else is inside the box we've got some paperwork here so it will tell you exactly how to use it we'll take a look at it later then we have got or bands in here so that's the second band that's the large one if you need it if you've got large wrists you can use this one instead of that one and finally we have our charging cradle let's pull it out so that's the charging cradle and we have a wire stick to it We've got pins here, you put the watch in here and then it charges it. We'll take a look at it later as well. So let's put all of this aside and take a look at the watch first. Let's put it on my wrist. See how it fits. So that's how it goes on my wrist and that's how it looks. It's really light, I can't even feel it on my wrist so there is that and it feels really small so let's put my gear s3 beside it and see how that one looks so that's gear s3 and it is huge and large and bulky and you definitely feel it on your wrist but you don't uh, feel fitbit bursa so both turns on when you move your wrist so that's the difference between the two let's take it off Let's try to use the charging cradle. How to do that? Take the plastic off. So we've got pins here, we've got connectors here, and then I believe we have to. So you just, you know, pinch it like this, 
put the watch in and then release it and it makes a very tight connection it doesn't oh okay so I pressed it again but anyways that's how you do it you pinch it put the watch in release it it fixes it inside and then you can simply hold it like this and the watch isn't going anywhere it's fit inside and then you can simply charge it so Fitbit is saying that you can actually get around four days of battery life but I will also test that but till then that's about it from this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye